What is going on you guys? Try to come back at you with another video. Today, rocking out a GC, currently sitting at zero wins, but that doesn't matter. We're gonna be skipping through and giving you the best action throughout this GC using this awesome giant skelly, skelly barrel mortar deck. Made by my good old friend, the Kaj. If you guys have ever watched CWA, he's been on there a couple times. Back probably a year or two ago using Giant Skelly. He's the free-to-play master. See you guys in game number one. Alrighty, guys. So in the game number one here versus Lord Venom. Let's go ahead and go with Bats right away. Uh, I was going to see if he was going to zap that. But he didn't do it. So uh, this is going to be an interesting little push. The Skelly Barrel with the Bats. Skelly Barrel looks like it is going to get to the tower. We'll get a couple shots there. Those Skellies. The Babe Dragon isn't the best answer. You get 500 damage off in the tower. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's what you like to see, my friends. My friend, my friend. All right, so there we go. Again, with this deck, you're... Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was, that was almost really bad. Um, you're... I feel like we're playing against a P.E.K.K.A. Okay, there it is. <laughs> so we're going to be trying our best here to hopefully... Ooh, a Magic Archer could get a couple shots here. Uh, you're just trying to, you know, stall out and allow this Mortar to get a couple shots. Hopefully it's not locked on the P.E.K.K.A. And it is locked on the P.E.K.K.A. That's okay. Should be able to still get one shot at least. Okay, let's just go with some more bats again. The mortar should be able to lock on the tower. It could get a second shot here. We'll see if it gets a fade away. No, it doesn't, but that's okay. Still really, really good job starting off here. We'll take it. We'll take it. Let's go ahead and go with another bar barrel. We'll hit the back two. Goblins barely. Should be expecting a bandit. There it is. So let's go and get some more geometry here. No, are you serious? They didn't lock onto the skellies. Oh, well, it did the job. We got a couple more shots off as well so let's just go with the skelly barrel to tank again really good answer this is why skelly barrel is one of my favorite cards in the entire game it can tank do a counter push and do a whole bunch of other stuff we take one shot i'll take that any day of the week still waiting for him to go with a miner on the back side oh my goodness we are so bad we missed our nato i fat fingered that's my bad that's okay though we'll get it <laughs> We'll still clutch up. We got five seconds to double elixir. Might as well just go with a mortar, especially with him going with the peck in the back. And we'll go with those skellies. Skellies are not going to get there in time, but still, we'll be able to get a good chunk of damage off there. So solid. We'll go with a giant skelly and a magic archer here. Should be able to take the tower with that. And we'll go with some bats over here. Oh, that's unfortunate. So, towers at one HP right now. Should be able to take it out, no problem. Uh. Okay, let's go with skellies over here. And we do pull it right into the barbs. So, not the best play, but, mm, you know, it's all good. Let's go ahead and head into this other lane here. Start the pressure up. Um, I forgot. We don't have a spell that can actually hit the tower. So, we're going to have to get lucky here with a good magic archer. Beautiful, beautiful magic archer. That's what you like to see. And then we'll be able to defend anything that he throws at us right here with a giant skelly as well as barbarrel and some bats and everything you know we just love it all let's go with the mortar right here just in case and we'll see you guys in game number two Alrighty, guys so into our next game here versus uh smiley face smiley face it actually is a smiley face uh, with this deck if you guys are going to try it out for yourselves just make sure you are trying to play for double elixir that's what you always want to do with giant skelly decks because giant skelly can fizzle up just about any push um, so you're fine with letting other people just, you know, go first. And this guy doesn't play anything. Oh, okay, looks like we'll exchange a couple of bar barrels. Uh, but I was going to say, if he doesn't play anything, I'll just skip to double elixir. Again, we're just going to wait. I don't want to go with a mortar. That seemed a bit aggressive if I would. But uh, we'll just hold off for now. And I'm going to move my mic right there. Beautiful. All right. Let's go with the giant skelly in the back here. Uh, we can. I'm most likely reversing a graveyard deck, if I had to guess. Because the... Uh, all the other good stuff that we're seeing right now. So we're going to allow this uh, baby dragon to lock on to our giant skelly. And then we're going to have to go with bats over here. And hopefully this will do a good amount of stuff. He'll have that ice whiz or nato. That works too. Um, still be able to... Okay, that was kind of an excessive bar barrel. We'll, we'll let it go. And I feel like we're just going to go mortar right on top. Boom. Okay, so Mortar's going to go out. Let's go with the Bar Barrel here and some Skellies. And we are not going to be able to get too many hits off. We will be able to get two shots. Okay, maybe a third shot, actually. It depends if this Baby Dragon shoots. Okay, so he does. So two shots. Not bad. I'll take that. Easy money. All right. So he just wasted another Poison plus his Baby Dragon. So I think a good push is going to be Giant Skelly with a Skelly Barrel. And that would be very, very tough to stop. 
he does not have uh, his poison in hand. He does have a Nato, but still, all he has is uh, that Ice Wiz, and then the, uh, well, now he may have the Knight, but, you know. Oh, he does have a Bomb Tower. Okay, so Bomb Tower is going to be a little rough. I um, was kind of hoping he wouldn't have that. And all in all, we'll, lo <coughs> we'll lose a little bit of Elixir. Nothing crazy, but let's go ahead and NATO that into the bomb. I just don't want to have to deal with anything. And let's go ahead and go like hubba 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 Go with those skellies, as well as those bats, and everything should be able to take out everything, and we should be all right. Uh, we take a good chunk of damage, actually. I was expecting a little less than that, but it's fine. Have our bar barrel to tank for us for a moment. And we'll go with this over here to hopefully stop all that. Go with a skellies right onto this bar barrel. And now we should be able to get some nice damage with our mortar. Well, at least be able to get one shot, possibly two. We'll go with another mortar right away. This is a little aggressive, but uh, you know what it is, what it is, boys. Our right, magic archer will get the final shot there. And now our mortar is back locked onto the tower. Just like that, we're going to be able to get a, another good chunk of damage off here. Let's go ahead and send in this. We've got those skellies to hopefully block out some of this. We just need one more shot, Mr. Mortar. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, Mr. Mortar. That's what we like. That's what we like. That's what we want. We want it all. I want it all. Oh, that's seriously locked onto that? Okay. I was really hoping he'd pull it out of range. That would have been really funny. All right, here we go. Mortar. One more shot. Yeah, that's what we're talking about, Mr. Mortar. There we go. There we go. Okay, so now we hold off with this Magic Archer. And Magic Archer goes down. And we should be expecting some sort of something any moment. So let's go ahead and just nato this baby dragon into the range of the tower. And look at all that damage. Magic Archer being a beast. Let's go. All right. All we really need is this mortar to lock on and hit the tower once. And we will be in a really, 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 really good spot. We just can't lose based off this thing. Come on, Mr. Mortar. Get the shot. One more. One more. One more, 85 HP, and good game, see you later. See you guys in game number tricks. Alrighty guys, here we go. Our Kumbes 94, our third opponent, also from a legendary clan. Let's go and throw that Barbara out the bridge. I just went against everything I just told you in the last game. We always want to try to hold off if we can for this reason. Um, I'm gonna have to eat a bandit connection here, which kind of sucks. You never know what could be worse. You feel me? Yeah, exactly. All right, so we're going to let this hopefully all die. And there we go. We get the nice geometry there, which will save us any damage from that guy. And we are versing log bait. So we're going to go with our mortar and see what he's got for us. And if he doesn't have very much, then we'll be happy. And we'll be able to get some geometry here as well. While this magic archer and the giant skelly are doing about four billion and a half damage. We're gonna get about four billion and a half and a half damage. That mortar is gonna explode as well. Beautiful so far. I could have actually nadoed that princess into the mortar. Is that gonna get another shot? Okay, it didn't get another shot, but still, that was pretty close. Let's go some skellies at the bridge here. I could have just went with a bar barrel, but you know, skellies are more entertaining. If you ask me. Oh, Dark Almond got moved by the skeletons. Okay, feels bad about that, but not the end of the world. Got some bats right on top of this Dark Prince. Should be able to take it out, no prob. Boom. And just like that, we are up about a thousand damage. A little more than a thousand damage. Thousand and eight. Right? Yeah, that's right. All right, let's go with the giant skelly right here and beautiful because now he can't really defend with anything. And now we just go with our mortar and we should be in good business. The giant skelly will basically tank anything if he goes with the rascals, which that's what he should have done. Uh, Rascal splits. We'll still be fine because now Mortar will clean up the tower. Uh, we don't even have to worry about that. And Giant Skelly Bomb is going to kill the Rascal. So that's a good game. Uh, I think so. So, And I'm never wrong because I'm OP. That's a rule of thumb. All right. Mortar gets the fadeaway shot. Boom. Banking on that money. There we go. Let's go with the Skelly Barrel over here. We'll go with some Skellies over here. And then we're going to have to NATO this over to prevent any damage. Beautiful. 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 Couldn't ask for any better defense right there. And this is why this deck is so strong. It is so defensive and it's just so OP. There's nothing that can stop it. Just kidding. There's lots of stuff. But you gotta play it really good if you want to stop it. Alright, let's go with the bar barrel over here. We'll go with bats right on top of this princess. And hopefully, yeah, there we go. It'll take out just about everything. We'll go with some skellies right over here to stop this dark prince. Just kidding. He has a shield and I forgot about that. 
All right, let's go with this over here, and then we'll go with that bar barrel. We'll pow. Good money. We are going to take a little bit of damage on that right hand lane. It's not too much to worry about, and then there's only 10 seconds left. So, again, not a whole lot to worry about. And we will wrap this thing up. GG's well played, Mr. Rukumbis. And just like that, we're heading into the last game already. Oh my god, here we go. Alrighty, guys. So, into our last game here versus V City. Wow, that's a different way to spell city, I guess. Um, so this time we are going to be a smart man. Okay, we're going to have to play this very interesting. Go with skellies and all this stuff to hopefully... If he has barbs, I will cry a little bit. All right, we got to nato that to get our giant skelly to the tower. There we go. So giant skelly's on the tower. It's going to go ahead and try to finesse that over there. This is why you don't really go Lava Hound first play. Uh, it can be pretty bad most of the time. Let's go Magic Archer. will shoot away at the guards. Then turn around and 360 no scope. Just kidding, not 360, but 180. He's going to go over there and target that Lava Hound, and we should be all right. Um, okay, now he's coming in with a Bar Barrel. So this is actually not very great for us. Let's see if we can tank for a couple of those pups. Or not. We still have a slight, slight, slight damage lead. Let's go ahead and go with a Mortar here. Uh, let's see what he's got because he'll have to get through the Magic Archer. And the other guy. Let's go ahead and just... I know, I know, it's probably still going to get to that mortar, so that was not a good NATO at all. That's okay. Let's go Skelly's over here. I didn't get them to split in time. Feels bad, but we'll take a little bit of damage still. He's down to 449. Definitely should have just went without that NATO. It didn't really change anything, um, but that's okay. We'll, we learn from our mistakes, and we'll get it the next time. 10 4, we'll get him next time. I feel like he's running the clone because he is running. Uh, ooh, those minions are dead, so thank you, sir. Um, <laughs> we'll go with our giant skelly over here in the left hand lane. See what he does. He's going to match it with a llama hound, so. Mortar? Yeah, why not? We'll see. If he's smart, okay, he is smart. I was going to say he'll have to split something. Uh, so we'll go with this, and hopefully our mortar will survive. He will survive! Alright, Skellies, so hopefully tank us out. Looks like we are chilling right now. I think that giant Skelly may be in range. I have no idea. We'll see. Boom, it is! Let's go! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And just like that, we are in a really, really good spot. And I actually messed up on that mortar, but I don't even think it matters too much. He's going to send in his balloon. Uh, we have to keep it away from our tower, but other than that, there's no real rules set in place, so... Okay, let's go with these bats right on top. I also just want to take a moment to appreciate you guys for a moment. Check up in that top left-hand corner. We're at 444 subs. The Illuminati confirmed. Just kidding, not quite, but close. Uh, to that Illuminati confirmed. We need 222 more subs to get to, up to the Illuminati number, Kappa. I think that's 777, but oh well. Uh, I just want to say thank you so much. You guys are the best. And uh, one day, that number will be 444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444